one of the benefits to living in a zoo for these animals that would not necessarily survive in the wild is that we get to help the odds. The worst thing that you can do is not try. So we'll always try. <laughs> Keeping that in mind, she does not have a name. We are very superstitious about naming in the beginning. So she's being fed every four hours. And then the bulk of the formula is whole cow's milk. Nothing is as good as mom's milk, but we get as close as we can. All right, littles, ready to pick up? She spends a lot of her time in the incubator, so this is her time to be out. Well, I'm actually going to disconnect her catheter line. She has gotten so feisty when she's out of the incubator. All right. Ready to eat? Before we can get to the exercise part and all the things down the road, we want to make sure that she's healthy. Right, you got to stand like a big girl. Come on. If we're getting that right, then everything else should follow. That is a happy baby nursing with her little tail wagging. She should be able to do all of the things that a gazelle in the herd would be doing. Got it all? Oh, <laughs> still not quite steady on your feet, but you got it. Good job, little girl. Everything is sounding good. Everything is feeling good. That's great. That's really great. Good job, all on your own. So this is excellent. She has not been doing this on her own, so that is a major milestone for her. It's silly to get excited over, you know, an animal urinating or defecating on its own, but that means she is doing well. She's read the gazelle handbook and is moving right along. Anything else? We definitely had a point. We weren't sure she was going to make it with how sick she was when she came to us, so she's been a little rock star. 